Special guest in here tonight, you know, we gotta represent for the legends. 803 Queen, that's right, you heard me. 803 Queen, Jazzy Period. Phoenix, Period. we in the building. What's going on, we guys? Yeah, yeah, I'm in here with my dogs. Oh, yeah, it's oh, family. Yeah. You know it's family. Oh, yeah, go all the way back. I've been a fan first since she was Miss High 16. You know what I'm saying? Always show up. Take it all the way back, all the way up until shit. My first really mentors, managing and shit. That's why I get that work from. Yeah, five, six, it's yeah, crazy. five, six, seven jobs. Work like it's making. Aight, aight. So go ahead, Dad, tell the people who don't know. Introduce yourself, let them know who you is, what you do, and all that. I am Jasmine Phoenix, Hot 16, Jazz, um, Big Phoenix, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to call it. Artist, hustler, entrepreneur. Um, we just getting to it. Get yeah, to it. Just get to it. You've been getting to it, though. So let people know where you're from. I know I said it again, but I want to hear from where you're from and how long it's been since you've been out here. Shoot, I've been out here since. I ain't even going to show my age, but I've been out here for a while. We've been running with Lily back in the day. Like, I've been out here. I started off writing poetry. Then I started rapping and um, dropped a few mixtapes. Did some videos. Told the city up. I'm from Columbia, from the metro, North Main area. If you're familiar with Eau Claire, I went to Eau Claire, went to Keenan. So, you know, I've been around. I've been around. Yeah. Talking my shit for a minute. For a minute. So, shit, what's been keeping you going with it? Like, what's keeping you motivated to stay and just keep creating? It's really the passion for the music. I love the music. I love to write. Yeah. I, I've been around music since I was young, so. I had a lot of different influences, so music always just been a part of my life before I even knew that I could rap. Right, right. So speaking of influences, name like your top three influences. Missy Elliott, of course. Oh yeah. Uh, Wayne, of course, and Biggie. Okay, okay. You know I gotta represent. You know I love Missy. Yeah, you know I already know. Everybody say that's who I quote unquote resemble. She's one of the girl. goats to me for real. Of course, of course, she is a goat and still going. Love it. So she, when you knew you was dope? <laughs> Since this time. <laughs> Ain't it? You know what I'm saying? I've been felt different. Like, you know, I've been felt, felt different all my life. Like, right. I would look at people and it's like, I'm different. I don't know cocky shit. It's just like my heart. You know what I'm saying? How I do shit. How I think. Like, i just always been fucking different. Right, right, right. So, being that you different, what makes what you think made your journey different from like the next female artists or just artists in general? Like, what makes you be the one that it'd be like, all right, yeah, I want to do jazz on the track. I uh, try not to lead with sexual shit. Like, try not to lead with your looks and your body. I know it's hard. You know what I'm saying? But I. But it's people. easy for you, alone. I know, <laughs> but I don't want to lead with that. You feel me? Yeah, like, yeah. a bitch look good, of course. You, right. you gonna see that, but I'm not leading with it, like, popping ass on stage. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I ain't judging it. But that ain't for me. You know what I'm saying? I want them to hear what I'm saying and right. want to lead with the music, lead with the bars first before anything. Okay, okay. That's what's up. So, I know you're a workhorse and all that. So, she, aside of music, what else you got going on? Um, I got a cleaning business, uh, I got a vending machine, um, we just started a charger station business, we could charge like 30 phones, so we doing outside events. Um, so go ahead, plug in, tell them where you follow all your businesses, yeah, plug in. got a throne business, I'm on Facebook as Jazz Phoenix, um, J-A-Z, it's always Jasmine with a Z, and I'm on Instagram, underscore Jasmine Phoenix. Okay, okay. What about your, uh, how can they find the cleaning business in the, uh... Queens of Clean Cola. Okay. okay. Queens of Clean Cola. And that's booming, too. That's, that's, that's booming. Right. So we trying to get it from all angles. Trying yeah. To, she, that's trying another, to another thing that inspired me. Like, she really, like, she do something, like, you gonna see, her. that's, that's what she on. And there ain't gonna be nothing slack, you know what I'm saying? Ain't gonna be no halfway do it. gonna do it. it. Go hard. I need to be rich. I can't live a regular <laughs> life. Right. I gotta be fucking you know rich. Like, it's, it's only one way. It's it's only one way. So shit, like, really, 
since you got you know you got music, you got cleaning business, you got the charging station and all that. So what's next? What's what what we looking forward to for like the next? I say I I want to say next year, but we are gonna cut it out. Say next six months. What's next to come? Next six months. Oh, it's so much shit. Like I got about so it. much shit I want to. Do. I want to get back into the music heavy because I I took a little hiatus. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I I still want to do it. Thanks to a lot of people around me like you. You know oh, what I'm yeah, saying? Y'all yeah. keep me going and. So I do want to pop back out with the music real heavy. I got a new song. Well, Tokens out now. Y'all yep. could check out Tokens and Win Them Dollars That on YouTube now. But oh, yeah. I'm working on some music. So in the next six months, I may drop a body at work. Like that's I feel like that. It's okay. it's about that time. Yeah, yeah. So I do have a, a fan favorite question. Um, I don't know how personal you want to get about it, but the fans want to know, are you single? You know what I'm saying? You mingling? You out chill? What's, where we at with that? I'm single and I'm on, I'm on the sidewalk. I ain't in the streets. So hey. I'm on the sidewalk. <laughs> I put my little toe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't sidewalk. doing too much. Don't hey, do too much hey, on me. Hey, now. that yeah. means if you're going to come, y'all better come correct. You're on the sidewalk, she ain't outside. So that means fly out. Yeah. That's what I'm going to say. That's what I'm saying. Fly out. Right. Like she said, because it's getting shut down immediately. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So let's talk about tokens, cause you know we brought in the show with tokens. What was the backstory? You know, what I'm saying how we put, how you put that together. And, you know, what I'm saying tokens was really like random as fuck. Like um, Kenzo made tokens. Shout out to Shout him out on the Kenzo. Um, he made that shit. No, I think I wrote a verse and then he came with a beat. It was on some random shit. Like I'm super random. I don't yeah, like yeah, yeah. with the music when I'm feeling it. I just gotta go at it. So I was in the spur of the moment type shit, wrote that shit real quick, knocked it out, and just kept it in the cut until d -Tech got a hold of it, Shout you know, he been spinning it in the street, yeah. so, and I hear they fucking with it, so, video on the way, Definitely video on the way for that, for sure. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned in with that, for real, for real. Alright, last question, I ain't gonna say last, second to the last, what's your favorite verse <coughs> you ever wrote, and do you remember it? Um, favorite verse. I got on Tupac beat. I don't remember it. Nah, I, I got on a Tupac beat. beat. I don't remember it, but y'all can look it up. I got on a Tupac beat. Picture me rolling. And this was this was some years ago. This probably was five plus years ago. Nah, had to be longer than that, cause she probably longer than that. And I was just talking about all um, my family that died and people around me just paying homage and you know. Okay. So it was uh, kind of heart type contribution. Shit. Type. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. So all right. I know I ain't tell you, I ain't asked you this before the interview, but I feel like speaking the verse. <laughs> <laughs> this song is gonna say it's not slight. You ain't gotta be a full yeah. 16 to be a bar. You know what I'm saying? This what song that? that you feel like motherfuckers gonna wanna check you out after they hear that shit. Hmm. Let me you gotta give me a second on that. I ain't even been writing, baby. <laughs> I ain't even been writing. But it ain't gotta be nothing new with me, song. That's already out there. People, you know what I'm saying? They probably don't even heard that shit. I got no shit. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. What's that song you got with Cash? What is that? I'm like that? Yeah. You remember that verse? Let me see. <laughs> I got one I, I remember, but not that one. Go ahead. Sweet this Okay. Tell you motherfuckers I'm cold. We ain't really gotta talk much if it's about that check, motherfucker. I'm sold. 16 off and this bitch going strong with your main nigga. You ain't even know. Bad little bitch with his mean, with a mean ass flow. That's all I remember. Hey, That's hey, all I remember. Fuck, well, y'all got me nervous on this shit. Hey, no, it, it's me. You I know. know. Saying, it's breezes, bitch. That's got all down. I remember on that shit. Hey, oh, but look. It's more to come. Way, way more to come. I know if y'all been following Cushion Lipstick and you know, on the way. For I don't know how long. I've been flexing. But it's coming. Flexing. It's coming, y'all. It's already me. ready. You know what I'm saying? It's ready. Now, we about to get in motion. Now, one more time, Jazz Phoenix, shout out. Where we follow you at. All the Instagrams. All Jazz your business Phoenix Instagram. on Facebook. Underscore Jasmine Phoenix on Instagram. For the cleaning company, Queen Clean Cold on Instagram. And that's it. That's it. All right, last thing. Just write of advice for young you or just anybody youth that's trying to come up and do what you're doing right now what would be your advice to them mm. i feel like study the business like get behind the scenes know what you're doing know what you're getting yourself into don't sign no contract that you don't understand get it looked over 
You know, always have a contract. Put shit in writing. You know, make motherfuckers stand on their shit. Be about your business. Be about your business. You heard. And once again, this is Andy Culture. You tune in with Breeze. And our special guest, Jasmine Phoenix. Y'all make sure y'all go tune in. Stay up to date. Follow on all social platforms. Yeah.